Welcome back. If you're like me, you love fish, but hate to cook it, mostly because I just don't know how. So today, your guide to fresh catch, new and delicious ways to cook fish. Christina Vanny is a culinary expert, and she joins us with where to find the best fish and how to cook it properly. Good morning to you, Christina. Good morning. How are you? Doing well. I, I too, I'm with Molly. I, I know that we should eat more fish. I really want to be that person. I'm just really bad at cooking it. So you're going to help us, right? I've got all the answers for you. And the truth is, as I think once you give it a try, you'll realize fish is one of the easiest things to cook and it's so fast. So it's a really great way to have a fast and healthy dinner. See, I love that. And we know that it's good for us. And I'm hoping you're going to get into the nutritional benefits in just a second. But first, yeah. where do you think it is that we can find the best fish? Well, you know, with, with all of your food, they always say it's best to know where your food comes from. So you can start with a trusted grocer or a fishmonger. I've actually found there are some really great resources online to buy fish online and they get shipped right to your door. Um, and that way too, you can sort of read up about what you're buying. You can see if it's coming from sustainable methods or um, finding ones that have low mercury levels, things like that. So, um, so there's lots of great resources. It's really in the end, about uh, trusting the source where you're getting your fish from. And then also, in terms of fish, it's always good to remember, fish should never smell fishy. It should smell oh. sort of like a, like a fresh ocean breeze. And, and if you look at the flesh, it should be moist and not dried out. And then something like salmon, you want something that um, has a really vibrant color, a nice pink or red or orange hue. You never want like a pale colored salmon. Ew. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got that. Some of that sounds so gross, right? I'm glad that you went through some of that because I, I think it is hard to know what to pick. And, and so that's super helpful. So how do we prepare fish? I always think of just tin foil, but I know that there's a, a lot of things you can put in there that make a difference. Absolutely. Yeah. So fish is so versatile. It can go on the grill. It can go on the stovetop. It can be done in the oven. So there's lots of different methods. And like I said, what's so great is, is that fish cooks fast. It's like all of these recipes are under 30 minute meals. So the first recipe I have for you is a way to prepare fish just on the stovetop. So it is a uh, Cajun, it's a stovetop Cajun salmon. And that's mm. a one pan, one pan meal. So like you only mess up one dish. So what you do is you can start with I have a recipe for a homemade Cajun seasoning, or you could just get your favorite um, you know, seasoning blend and just coat both sides of the salmon with it. And then just sear it both sides on the stovetop. And it takes just about five minutes on each side. So then take it out of the pan, and in that pan, you can make a really quick and easy pan sauce. Deglaze oh. it with some beer or wine, put in some, some butter, some garlic, some lemon, and then you just spoon that sauce right over the Cajun salmon. It's all done in one pan. Super simple. That's so cool. Was Yum. that a Dutch yeah. oven? I know it didn't have the lid on it. Is that the type of pan that you used on the, the stovetop? No, it was, that's a, more of a shallow pan. Dutch ovens tend to be deeper, like okay. for soups. Yeah, that was, um, I used I used a cast iron pan. Um, cast iron is great because it has nice and even heating. So if you're doing something like a Cajun um, style thing, it really, um, it kind of sears in those flavors really well. Got it. Christina, your yeah. pictures are so good. We can Beautiful. see so clearly and so vibrantly how to make it. So thank you so much for sharing that. I love it. Okay, let's talk about how you know that fish has been cooked properly. And I'm hoping you can use your blackened tilapia recipe to, to tell us about this. Yeah, absolutely. So um, the thing about fish is, is that you don't have the same worry that you would with, say, like pork, where it has to hit a certain temperature in order to be food safe. So fish, it's you can, you can watch it. And what you what you notice is, is the fish will turn opaque. So like with the Cajun salmon, if you look at it when it's in the pan, you'll see that color change as it cooks. And when when it goes opaque about halfway up, that's when you know how to flip when to flip it. The other way oh. to know that fish is done is that it will flake easily with a fork. So if you take a fork and just kind of pull a little bit at, at a corner of the flesh, it'll sort of flake a little bit. That's how another way that you know it's done. So um, the other recipe that you mentioned is a way to cook fish, but entirely in the oven. So that's very hands off, super easy. So for that recipe, I have a, a blackened tilapia. Now tilapia is a good choice for a beginner uh, fish 
cook because uh, it's budget friendly and it's pretty forgiving. So for this recipe, all you have to do is, again, you can make a, um, a homemade blackening seasoning or get one um, you know, from the grocery store that you like, brush the tilapia with a little bit of olive oil, cover both sides with the blackening seasoning, and then you can put it on a, a rimmed sheet pan and cover it with some nonstick foil. Because at the end then, the cleanup is just throwing away the foil. It's so easy. So then all you do is just pop that right in the oven, 425 for 10 minutes, it's perfect every time and it's done. I and in that, that amount of time, you can make um, an easy uh, homemade uh, tartar sauce to go with it. Maybe serve it with some rice on the side. It's a full meal, and it's done so quickly. I love it. I'm such a beginner. Yeah. I'm all about the tinfoil, the tilapia, the cod, oh, the yeah. easy ones. So, yep. but what, how often should we be eating fish? Because there's so many nutritional benefits, and I'm sure you've got some of those packed in your, your mind for us, too. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the general rule of thumb is, is about eight ounces of fish a week. So that's like two days of having four ounces. So, you know, two times mm. a week is a good, um, a good rule of thumb. And of course, it's such a great source of protein and those healthy omega-3 fats. So that's the reason that you want to try some new ways and try some new recipes to incorporate throughout the week. Um, this other recipe that I have for you, it's healthy because it's a spinach stuffed salmon. So I love this one because it's kind of like like your side dish and your main dish all in one. And I will put the recipe online so everybody can see it. You rock. These pictures Looks amazing. are amazing. I love that you did fresh catch and talk to us about fish today. This was phenomenal. Thank you so much. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Christina. And I want to make sure Bye. people know how to follow you and find all of those delicious recipes because we had the Cajun salmon, the blackened tilapia, and the stuffed salmon. You can follow Christina on Instagram at Christina Vanny for these dishes and more great recipe ideas too. You can also check out our website, themorningblend.com.